Andre here with Suffolk TV. We're in Tampa, Florida. We're talking to Nick from Motion DSP, and um, tell us what you have, uh, what you're showing this week. Hi. Um, yeah, we're actually showing a Canon ISR uh, 1500. It's uh, been finely tuned for the tactical environment. Um, the importance of that is to understand that for the tactical environment, there's three main capabilities that they really need. Fidelity improvement, advanced situational awareness, and also um, product creation. And the importance of product creation is there's one guy doing this stuff, and or maybe two, and they need um, products out fast and quickly, and we've built a way to actually get this stuff out faster and quicker. What we're able to do is clean up and reduce the green, so then you can really easily identify what's going on. Uh, one of our bread and butters here is, is uh, haze reduction, and what we're able to do is get through this um, sandstorm, be able to see under the shadows, really cut into what you can see there. Very important here, cutting into the shadows and getting terrain uh, enhancement. Terrain enhancement helps you understand the human interactivity here and be able to get your intelligence faster. Uh, this is pretty much speaks for itself, but this is our holistic approach. We deinterlace, we stabilize, we do light and color corrections, and we also uh, increase the resolution and sharpen all of it all at once. And this is all in real time. Uh, here's very important, and I'm actually going to pause the video for a second just to explain a little bit more. What we're doing here is we're taking in two, um, one video stream and giving you two capabilities to see it at once. So what we're doing is extending the capability of the asset so you have an overwatch view and then you can also zoom in and you can maintain situational awareness all at once. Um, to go into the situational awareness side of things, what they really need is to be able to understand and track their activity and their intelligence production as quickly as possible. Here when we're talking about the network inside, we take the information that they've got and then we populate this in the background so then they can easily identify where it's at, where it occurred, and where everything's going. So as you see here, you get red dots there, and those red dots are identifying where the activity occurred and when you are talking about it, and then this maps out the additional networks that you can get from that. And the closer they are to the person of interest, which is we've identified here as Jeff Charles, um, we get here um, a circular motion of activity that's occurred with him. So this is important because then they can quickly identify who has interacted here, who's been, who talks to this guy, and then who's linked. And that is instantaneously, instantaneous with their information. So. Nick, where can we get more information? It's pretty simple. Just go to motiondsp.com and you'll be able to find all of our products there and extensive information on how we do these things. Well, thank you so much for taking the time today. Thank you. I'm Andra with Suffolk TV and stay tuned for more information coming straight at you.